Welcome back. Today should be quite amusing. I have some fun plans. First off, you'll prob you should notice that you can hear the nether sounds again. The gas, the grunting pigmen. I have a new sound card. Uh, let me know how the audio levels work. Um, if I'm too loud, too quiet, I can adjust it here. Let me know. Alright. Before we get on with the more interesting of plans, there's something right here. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Plenty of Edwards. Um. Yeah. Today's the terraforming day. I have TNT. Lots and lots of TNT. Oddly enough, I actually want to collect all this nether. But yeah, I I hinted that this was going to be an interesting terraforming episode. And what I did is I made a full stack of TNT. And TNT in the nether makes quite the blast because nether rack is so weak. Alright. I was not expecting to find this down here, but I guess it makes sense. I'm also glad we didn't just fall through the ground. Alright, I'm only trying to bring it to a certain level, I'm not trying to craterize the entire place. So there's going to be a lot of filling back in. This charge was 16 T's, uh, spaced six blocks with a six block gap. And I just set it off with redstone and a repeater button. But yeah, I uh, came up with this idea, besides being an obvious one, because I didn't want to use a bunch of diamond picks to level this area. I also didn't want to be st constantly starting revolutions in the interim. Come here, flapper. Give me your cream. Yeah. So I figured you can't start revolutions with TNT because there is no aggressor as far as the pigmen are concerned. Die. Die, 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 die. So many little flappers. So yeah, we're going to be blowing the heck out of the nether. The heck out of health, I guess. Alright. I got... 12. Nice. 12 magma cream. Put that in here. And for those interested, I know at least some of you don't know much about the game, this is how you make TNT. Like that. Sand, separating gunpowder. Finish that off with the rest of this TNT. And... Yeah. Alright. We want the nether to be just one block. Thank you. This height. One lower might not actually hurt because then we can cover it with grass. I plan to actually cover most of this area with. Whoa! No, 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 no. I like the new lava texture. It's really grown on me. Go away. Alright. So yeah, we want it this height. So you can see this did a pretty good job here. A little bit we'll have to fill in, but not much. Ah, I thought I heard something behind me. Alright, potato. Alright, just from that blast we got about four stacks of netherrack. Better go feed it to Calcifer. Alright, how, how do you guys want to use this? I have a few plans. Any plans of your own? You guys aren't telling me. Alright. First, I'll show you what a single piece of TNT can do. Let's go over here a ways. Let's go... One, two, three, four. Let's go down just one. 
Alright. All I'm gonna do is light that on fire. Run back. And the bluey. Oh, they sounded upset by that. Oh, if you light it yourself, apparently they can be mad at you. That should be fun. Actually, we spent a good portion of the day hunting pigmen in a different server. So I'm all up for it. Hunting them for their nuggets. Come on, you guys. Let's see. Come on, piggies. That's a pressure plate, by the way. It plates when pressured. Ah, it will set off the TNT when I lead him past it. If I don't get killed first, I forgot to put on my armor. Come on, little guys. Come on, Edwards. Ow. Okay, not a good time for lag. Where'd you go? Come on, this way. This way, Edward. Edward. Really? Come on. Are you guys really that stupid? Ow. I guess it works in your favor. I'm almost dead now. Yeah, TNT breaks in instantly, so... Hmm. Guess if you light it yourself, they know you did it. Ow. I was... Oh, I only had the chest piece left, I think. Oh, you guys can see a little bit of my unfinished house, I guess. Alright. What should I do first? Let's try the mad dash. See if I can pick up anything before I die. One, two, three. It always takes a moment before I load. Yeah, that that is my other world. I'll let you guys see it, not edit it out. It is you saw the least finished of the areas. Really? You know what? Today's a special episode. Uh, within about a week, the fu full version of this version should be out, and that will that will mark uh, pretty much the end of this, since I have the hardware to record. Alright, let's see. Where did I put my good weapons? My fire aspect here. Let's see. That looks like a good enough set allow me to get my stuff back. This is my storage room, also unfinished. My little hub, also unfinished. Tree farm, and a whole bunch of farms. That's actually my favorite room. I'm not going to show you guys. All right, there was going to be an auto brewing machine. Uh, snapshot changes outdated was doing there. All right, let's go kill some pigmen. <laughs> Load, please. There. Loaded. Come on, piggies. <laughs> I smell bacon. <laughs> Alright, another one down. Yeah, I expected to die this episode from explosions. Do not wear my armor against me. I expected to die from explosions, not revolution. Uh, switch over to my smite sword. Hi, dude. Goodbye. Headshot, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna clean up here, and I'll meet back with you guys after killing Eddie here. Okay, see you in a Okay, put stuff away, put on my old chess piece. Yeah. Oh, first, I'll show you what Calcifer's been doing.
Another bricks. Quite a few of them. And I think you can guess what we're doing next. 16 nuggets, 25 feet of rotten flesh, uh, golden swords by 3, another gold ingot. Yep. Let's go kill some pigmen. First though, pop. Let's clean this up. Gotcha. Alright. That's, that goes there, there, nothing else of interest. I, I think there's no more survivors mad at me. I could, of course, be wrong. Normally am. So let's see. If I want to blast to correct level, I need to go down just one. Just one? Okay. I need TNT. One. Then I count six here. Six. And on the seventh, I place another TNT. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. I heard more hooting. Hoot, hoot, hoot. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah, I don't have much armor on, so I have to actually pay attention to him. But to me, that makes it more fun. Only needs one. In old versions, if you smack TNT, you would actually set it off. I am quite glad that's no longer the case. Oops. So yeah, if we use redstone to set this off, it shouldn't start a revolution. I hope. Alright, let's see. Let's put two of them right here. Oh, wait. Let's loop this around like this. And like that. Why not? On this side. And let's place this. Why can't I place this out there? Oh, because I set the red so wrong. Alright. Put that there. That there. Let's see if there's anyone around mad. Because I could use a mad one. Put out some fire. Fire and TNT do not like each other. That's probably how I'm going to be setting off individual TNT. Hey, let's call this the TNT testing episode. I'll test how many ways you can make a pig man mad with TNT. Hello, any takers? No? Let's see. Come on, anyone? Anyone want to kill me? Come on, it's your lucky day. Come on, kill me. Kill me. Somebody kill me! No one wants to kill me. And that's not the time to kill him. This guy might want to kill me. You guys hear about the revolution? You hear about the revolution? You want to join the revolution? Come on, join the revolution. <laughs> Oop, run, run. <laughs> Come on, piggy. Ow, ow, not good, not good. Cross it. This is not going to turn out well for me, is it? Come on. Yeah, this isn't going to turn out well. I'm just going to terminate him. And I'll just set it off myself. I mean, it would suck if I lost 53 TNT. If we're not timing it right. Whoa. Running, 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 running. High explosives. Actually, is TNT a high explosive? It isn't, is it? I think TNT is a low explosive. I don't know. I'll check it out later. But playing with explosives is fun. Also, do not try this at home. Alright, I'm gonna come through at a later point and use up some of that pickaxe thing I didn't wanna. Just eat away like this. Quite easy on a flat four. Rap. Machine gun pick for the win. 
A lot more fun than going back and forth in circles. Yeah, you can get a lot of experience nowadays mining. Uh, whenever I set up a quarry, I try to put it near... Oh, hi! How are you doing? Uh, apparently not well, not anymore. Uh-oh, I don't have the health for you. No! <laughs> Run! Uh, but yeah, uh, I always try to set up my quarries with a chanting table nearby. And I'll use the materials I've mined combined with sticks to make the tools I need. And then I'll get the experience from mining coal and such to enchant them. Nice complete system. Alright, where's my sword? Running! Ow! Ow! Uh, I'm gonna get proper tools first. I left them in my ender chest, so that, should, that won't be a problem. Into the portal. Load in. Thank you. Oh, I guess it wasn't done. Alright. No one right here? Ah, oh, he wants to kill me. Ah, I was hoping I could kill him with just my bare fists. Let's see, did I put an inter chest? Nope. I'll grab it from this inner chest. No one wastes too much of your time with me screwing around. There's Calcifer version 1, complete with sh shutoff switch. I'm underground. I'm a dwarf, okay. I like underground holdings. Let's go get my TNT back. Loading in. I always look out a different direction. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Die. Really? Wow, that's impressive. Oh, come on. Wonder if I'm just being a bad shot today or if I'm actually lacking. <laughs> No! You're not gonna kill me with this set of armor! Uh, here's all the stuffs. Big X. Okay, this is not gonna turn out well. There is control lag in these things. So, the majority of my diamond armor and tools are now right next to Pikmin. I built that tree, by the way. No bone meal involved. Wrong side. Back. Alright, let's see. We have diamond pants, diamond shoes. Let's see, what's good iron chest? Alright, that's there. Not projectile protection. There. Wait, we have that. I'm not gonna waste feather falling boots. Oh, I already have boots. I need a helmet. A uh, basic iron helmet. Okay, I did not know I had that. Protection too. Let's see. That. And what's this chest? Oh, my creeper hunting sword. I use this sword to make uh, records. In one shot, I can make uh, uh, creepers so a skeleton can kill in one hit, and it knocks him way back. All you have to do is make sure a skeleton kills a creeper, and you get a record. So. I basically find a creeper, find a skeleton, hit the creeper in the direction of the skeleton, and spot through this portal. And then let the skeleton creeper. The knockback allows you to line them up. Hi, dude. Come on, dude. You know you want me. Revolution is fun. 
So it was collecting gold nuggets. Not as fun as collecting uh, month-old chicken nuggets, but that's a story for another time. Alright, who's there? Who's there? Who's there? This actually looks like it'd be fun to play paintball or something and... Quit lagging every time I hit you. Okay, I'm getting my stuffs back. I really like fighting pigmen. They're interesting. Because they're... They're not like, say, a creeper, where if you see a creeper, you know how it's going to act every time. After you start a fight, you have this period of time where you just don't know if they're going to attack you or not. Let's see. I think I have everything. Uh, I'm missing the other diamond chest, but I think that may have actually broken. There's that diamond armor. Here's my normal sword. Here's the other sword. Uh, there's the bow, arrows, pickaxe. Okay, first stop, example chest. Put that there. Uh, 14 nuggets, 13 rotten flesh, no swords, th not this time. Alright, ender chest. Put these in. So yeah, hopefully in about a week I'll be starting the actual series. I'm, I have high hopes for it because this nether project was really not planned out well. I was basically wandering m around my place trying to figure out what to do next and decided to film this. And I've since decided I don't like the design entirely. Like I would want to make the door something that's blast resistant. Uh, la, 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 la. I think that's about all the stuff I want. TNT. Oh, I have the TNT. Good. Baked potatoes. Pressure plate. Alright. Next thing we're going to test is whether or not... Oh, we need this off. Fire TNT angers the pigmen. Alright, the last one I set off directly. Let's see what happens if it's from fire. First off, is he mad at me? Are you mad at me? He's not mad at me. Awesome. Are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? Mm. Alright, let's... First, let's clear out this area. Make it less of a paintball arena. I think right here I want it one down. Yeah. Let's try setting it from fire. May take a bit longer because you have to wait for the TNT to catch on fire. There we go. Kabow! Lava. I didn't ask for you, lava. I didn't hear their, them hooting, so I guess I didn't hit one. I actually really like lava, with the sole exception of the fact that it's persistent. Oh, ow, 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 not good, not good, not good. I just lost my TNT, didn't I? Die. Yep. This is going to be an awesome episode. Watching me flounder about, losing my gear. At least I don't have pigment at me this time. Load in, please. I covered up the hole, which is why it started expanding. I see. Please give me TNT. Okay, I still have some stuff about. Got my uh, my bow and arrows. I think that's arrows. No, those are buttons. I got my pick back. I got flint and steel. That's always useful. Sword, nice. Uh, yeah, it looks like I lost my TNT. That sucks, but it's not it's not irreversible. I have some sand and gunpowder back at the base. Not a lot though. Alright. 
Let's go back to the base that's not, not been showing. Boom. Oh yeah, I don't have arrows. Bye bye, Mr. Ghast. Sprinting along. But yeah, next series. I have high hopes for it. I know what I'm designing. I have a short term and a long term plan for it. But the purpose of the, the series will be to teach uh, beginners what they can do in the game. How to do it. But primarily I want to show people how. Or what, what they can do. I would not um, still be playing Minecraft at all if I hadn't watched other LPs. So I want to share that. Uh, I don't have any arrows. So I'll put this back for now. Yeah, I lost all my arrows. Don't need any of that gear. Oh, yeah. Here. Just because. Yeah, I have... I have Ender Balls. Uh, la, 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 la. Sand. Let's see, that's sand, that's sand, that's sand. And Mop Drops are back up here. I have a stack 28 of gunpowder. Let's see how much we can make. What are you smelting? Oh. Yeah, this has a lot more variety in what I actually smell. Don't think I need you on, though. But here. Let's try the... Yeah. First, we'll just do the right-click split to play something like that. And then let's evenly spread them out with the super drag. And do it again here. Really one of the best features of the version. Okay, I have 18 T TNT left. Alright, put the sand back. Put that back. Let's play with buttons next. I don't know why, but I want to use up those buttons. Okay. Yeah, I really did not intend to show you guys this area. Ah, eh, might as well show you a little bit more, though, since I'm here. This is my tree farm. Nothing too impressive. I just needed wood, so I made it. Uh, pumpkins light it up, uh, so nothing can spawn in here, and so it has enough light to grow. It's eight high, so I don't have any branches that I can't break down. Then I can soar the spare saplings and such along here. And any spare wood or anything right there. The room I'm most proud about is right here. It's my farm's room. Yep, you have the potatoes right there, the carrots right there. A little bit further, there's the wheat. You have the cocoa, and on either side you have the sugar cane. I'm sorry for the jitteriness. It has to do with the pressure plates right there. These, you can come along here, have lights from right there, lights in the corners. Gives enough light for all the plants. Lily pad on the water so you can run over it. Single block of water hydrates the 9x9 area, so I take advantage of that. With just enough separation to make it easy to replant. Walk up these. For harvesting this, you just punch down the middle row. Run along and collect it all. Like that. Easy enough. And then up here on either side, I have my melons, my pumpkins, my nether wart. I really like potions, so I like nether wart. Yeah, you can hear all the creatures up above. Some fancy patterns done with stairs. Looks a lot better with this snapshot's new lighting on them. Yeah, like that. Alright, enough touring the place you're not allowed to see. Oh, and I have like almost nothing up there. Alright, let's go back, let's blow some holes. Let's try not to die in easily avoidable lava. But from what I noticed, it seems to spread faster there than I'm used to in the overworld. I know it spreads further in the nether. I'm curious if it spreads faster. Hi, piggies! 
Gas, please do not come over here. I can't shoot you. Or if you insist on shooting at me, come over here where I can hit you. Alright. That's TNT eyes, it. Boom! TNT. Boom! Armadillo. So yeah, if you want to do controlled TNT blasts, you just have to learn essentially how far uh, they blow with a certain material. In this case, I went, I just went creative in the nether and set up uh, TNT counting how far it can reach and such. So in this case, it will blow four down under it. So you just have to make sure it's on block five from where you want the floor to be. Level this out a little bit. Back and forth with the machine gun pick. Here we go. Uh, let's move you out. Yep, don't want to be doing blasting too close to right here. See, you think I can blow this out of the way without damaging this? Let's try. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do it four over. Might be cutting a little close, but let's try it. So far I've been getting the buttons back. And kablow! Oh, lava again. Oh, how I love thee. Blub blub. Alright, so that one cuts out. Die lava! It's like this lava's alive or something. Hydra lava? Cut a head off and more sprout? La 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 la. I don't want a hot bath. I showered yesterday. Alright. Stamp this out. Out! 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 I also wish it was easier to tell where the persistent spots were. But I guess it. You wouldn't have to do as much work to put it out then, I guess. Yeah, the reason why it will spread after I start putting it out is because, like water, it will flow to the closest downward block. If I block off where it's flowing to, then it needs somewhere else to flow to and it will start expanding. Try, like, press, like, if you have something like this, try putting the water there. You'll notice that it flows directly into these two corners. Compare it to putting water, like, in the middle of an area like this. And it will spread in a big old circle. If it, you'll, you'll, you'll search up to five blocks away to find the hole down. So yeah, don't know how much of this clearing process you guys want to watch, but it's been fairly dangerous so far. So I think I'll record a second episode. Yeah, let's just level this out a little bit. Yeah, I want to cover this area in grass. See if we get to that before the real series starts taking place. And again, I think that will be much more enjoyable for you guys. I'll have... I, well, I won't be in the nether for one thing. You'll see me deal with the real enemies, like creepers and skeletons and those other fun things. And you'll see the new and improved creepers and skeletons. Dealt with them on this server already. They're... well... The skeletons can be quite a uh, bugger to deal with. It's going to be fun starting a new world with them. Alright. Making progress. Let's... Yeah, let's give you a nice view of... The damage so far. Really does look like it'd be fun to play paintball on. Alright, I shall see you guys next episode. I hope you enjoyed this. 
Go ahead and give me feedback on the sound. I think I might have the next episode out before I can get that back, though. So, uh, enjoy.